So here we have a trig equation to solve. 2 tan x plus 5 equals negative 4. Now the first stage in the process will be to try and get tan x on its own equals a value. So we'll subtract 5 from both sides. Negative 4 minus 5 would be negative 9. Divide both sides by 2. Now that's negative 4.5. Now let's talk a little about what this means. The tangent of an angle is negative. Now in your quadrants diagram, first, second, third, fourth quadrant, all of the sine, cosine, tan are positive in here. Only the sine's positive here. The tan's the only positive one here. The cosine's the only positive one there. So that leaves the tangent negative in the second quadrant. That's between 90 and 180. And also negative in the fourth quadrant. That's an angle between 270 and 360 degrees. So these are the two quadrants that we know x is going to be in. However, our first task is to find the first quadrant angle. So we forget about the negative. We could onward just in here between 0 and 90, uh, with the tan of x being 4.5. So we need to find out what angle has a tangent of 4.5. So we use inverse tan. On this, it's arc tan, a tan, but in yours it might be tan to the minus 1. That's more normal. Second function tan or whatever. You'll know how to use your own calculator to find the angle whose tangent is 4.5, positive 4.5. Now I'm checking that my calculator's in degree mode. It's got a deg up here. Yours might be D, but somewhere on the screen it should tell you that you're in degree mode. If you're not, change it to degree mode. So I'm pressing this. What is the angle whose tangent is 4.5? Remember, I'm forgetting about that negative. I'm just pretending I'm in the first quadrant just now. And the answer is 77.47. Let's say it's 77.5 to three figures. So it's 77.5 degrees. That's my first quadrant angle. So that would be an angle in here, quite a steep angle, measured round from the x-axis. So the angle in here, that's the second quadrant, would be all the way around to 180 minus that 77.5. So x is equal to 180 minus 77.5 or fourth quadrant angle be all the way around to 360 minus the angle. So that's 360 minus the first quadrant angle of 77.5. So that's 360 minus 77.5 degrees. Now you should really use the calculator uh, for this step. Right there it is, 102.5 or Two hundred and eighty-two point five degrees. So that's the two values that we get. Now, if you have, well, you do have a calculator in the exam, you'd be daft not to, to attempt to check these. Um, if we do the tangent of 102.5, 
what do we get? We get 4.5, more or less. Remember, we rounded off to the nearest, uh, well, in this case, to one decimal place. So there's our negative 4.5, we're correct there. Let's try the second one. Tangent of 282.5. There it is, negative 4.5 to one decimal place. So that's our two answers, and that's to one decimal place in both cases.